Dear students, the great scientist Albert Einstein once said, In the middle of every difficulty lies an opportunity. Let's utilize this difficult time for learning something new. As we all know, learning should never stop. So with that, we can continue our session on micro nano machining. In this presentation, we'll be mainly focusing on the abrasive flow machining process. Now let's see what is abrasive flow machine. Surface finish determines the wear resistance of the component and power loss due to friction. If the surface is not smooth, it can lead to component failure because of crack initiation from the surface. Advanced technology made the miniaturization of components a necessity. Surface roughness becomes more important as there is a miniaturization of the component dimensions. Even a slight alteration in the dimensions can altogether change component functionality. The traditional finishing process that is a grinding, honing, lapping are incapable of meeting the increasing demand of achieving the end surface finish or the complicated geometries made up of difficult to finish materials. Hence many advanced finishing process came into existence. Abrasive flow machining or abrasive flow finishing is one such advanced finishing process developed to finish internal as well as external sim and simple to complex geometries. The AFM process is capable of achieving surface finish up to 50 nanometer, deeper the holes as small as 0.2 mm in diameter, radius the edge from 0.025 to 1.5 mm and give hole tolerance up to plus or minus 5 mu m. Up to 90% of time can be saved by using AFM as compared to hand finishing operations. Now look, let's look into some of the characteristics of AFM. The characteristics of AFM include the following. It can deeper, polish and reduce difficult to reach surface, produces radii even on complex edges. The surface roughness is reduced by 90% on cast, machined or electric discharge machine surfaces. AFM can simultaneously process multiple parts or many areas of a single workpiece. As there is no predefined relative motion of the tool related to the workpiece, inaccessible areas and complex internal passages can be finished economically as well as effectively. It is easy to integrate AFM in any automatic manufacturing environment. Automatic AFM systems are capable of handling thousands of parts per day, greatly reducing labor costs by eliminating tedious handwork. By understanding and controlling the process parameter, AFM can be applied to an impressive range of finishing operations by changing tooling, process settings and abrasive medium. It is also possible to control and select the intensity as well as the location of abrasion through fixture design, medium selection and process parameters. Now let's focus the most important side of the AFM, the mechanism of its material removal. The medium used in the finishing of workpiece during AFM process is composed of a soft base polymer carrier additives and fine abrasive particles. The base polymer is viscoelastic in nature. It contains both elastic as well as viscous properties when undergoing deformation. It acts as a binder for holding abrasive particles. As shown in the figure, when extrusion pressure P is applied on the medium, the elastic component of the medium results in generation of a radial force FR while viscous component generates an axial force FA. FR is responsible for indentation of abrasive particles in the workpiece surface, while FA pushes the indented abrasive particles in the axial direction to remove the material by shearing action in the form of a microchip. Depending on the geometry of the component to be finished, the AFM process can broadly be classified to three main types, one-way AFM, two-way AFM and orbital AFM. Now let us see the movement of abrasive particles encapsulated in the medium to remove the material. Moving on, let's see what is one-way AFM. As the name suggests, in one-way AFM, the visco 
elastic medium is extruded unidirectionally. As shown in the figure, the one-way AFM setup consists of a hydraulically actuated reciprocating piston and an extrusion chamber whose role is to receive the medium flowing out of the workpiece after one completed cycle to extrude the same medium unidirectional through the workpiece for the next cycle. It is used mainly to finish components for which it is difficult to make tooling for one of the two ends, such as engine blocks and multiple holes. The fixture directs the flow of medium from the extrusion chamber through the internal or external passages on the workpiece, while a collector is put to gravitationally collect the extruded medium flowing out of the workpiece. The medium then flows periodically from the collector to the extrusion chamber through the access port provided in the extrusion chamber. The access port is controlled by the hydraulically actuated piston which opens to collect the medium in the extrusion chamber and the next cycle resumes as soon as the medium chamber is charged. The piston then advances into engagement with the chamber thus seating the medium for the next extrusion cycle. The low pressure created by the piston in the chamber during withdrawal often assists the gravity flow of the medium and accelerates the filling process. One way AFM offers the advantage of faster processing of parts, easy cleanup and the use of simple change tooling. Now let's see how two-way AFM works. As shown in the figure, a two-way two AFM setup consists of upper and lower medium cylinders with pistons, a workpiece fixture, a hydraulic drive and supporting frame. The workpiece to be finished is held in the fixture securely and placed in the space between the upper and lower medium cylinders. The primary function of the medium cylinder is to contain the abrasive and guide the reciprocating motion of the piston during extruding the medium. At the start of the finishing cycle, usually the lower medium cylinder is filled with the medium while the upper cylinder is empty or nearly empty. Under the action of an external force, hydraulically or mechanically, the medium is extruded via the restricted passage through or past the workpiece surface to be finished. While the upper medium cylinder discharges the whole medium to the lower medium cylinder, the lower medium cylinder's piston begins to push the medium having abrasive particles back to the upper cylinder, completing one cycle. Thus, the flow of medium is done back and forth through the workpiece until the desired results are obtained. An advantage of the two-way AFM process lies in its capability to finish simple, simple to complex components such as knee joint implants without much difficulty. Now there is one another type of AFM process which is called as the orbital AFM. In an orbital AFM, the finishing of the workpiece is achieved by providing rapid low amplitude oscillations in two or three dimensions with a slow flowing pad of elastic or a plastic medium. As compared to two-way AFM, the medium here is more viscous and elastic in nature. The basic principle employed in the orbital AFM is to provide translational motion, motion to the medium with respect to the workpiece. A small orbital oscillation may be in the range of 0.5 to 5 mm. That is a circular eccentric planar oscillation is applied to the workpiece relative to the self-deforming viscoelastic finishing medium as shown in the figure. The pad is positioned on the surface of the displacer which itself is a mirror image of the workpiece. Plus or minus a gap accommodating the layer of the medium and the clearance. Different portions of the workpiece are finished as the circular eccentric oscillation continues. For better understanding, let us now see the working of a real AFM machine.
hope you understood the concept of AFM and its material removal mechanism. Thank you for your time. Wishing you a good day.